Hey everyone, this is Wei with 3D Modeling Hero. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a low poly model of uh, Arnold's face. And the reason I chose this face is because he has very well defined features and it's a little bit easier to see. So the first thing we need to do is to identify, you know, what are his features. Uh, so we look at the cut line in the middle. And then this is kind of, this is generally what I'm seeing, you know, his 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 features and how it flows, you know, the major areas that we need to cut in. So if I were to envision how a 3D model would look like over his face, it would be something like this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be this way, but this would be kind of a good start as to, you know, to define where the flows are and, and where your major edges are, you know, to make sure you, you get these lines. So with this image, then we're able to you know, start modeling the, the low poly model. So starting off, I'm just gonna use a, a plane again. And since we're only modeling half, what I like to do is just to mirror um, the other side and then I put on a separate layer in Maya and, I, and I'll turn off the uh, selection so that I, I won't be able to select that other side. So from there, I'll just take the plane and I start protruding out shapes. And I'll usually start with the nose just because it, it protrudes out the most and it's closer to the center anyways. Um, or you can start on the cheekbones or the eye sockets. Um, it really doesn't matter. It just, you just gotta pick a spot and go. So I'll just work on the major edges and just start cutting in those lines first and then you know, start pulling them into shape. As you can see, it's, it's, I mean, it's really messy. I mean, there's no, you know, things aren't aligned right, which is okay because I'm just cutting in the edges. Uh, because once you get the edges correct and the flow correct, then, I mean, you can easily, um, you know, modify the shapes uh, to, you know, to, to get the cor correct proportions. Um, now, if you look at the eyes, what I like to do around the eyes is, you know, what the eyeballs are going to be, I'll just select that face and I'll, and I'll just delete it. Uh, just so that I can, uh, you can see the eyes uh, a little bit clearer, you know, where, where the eyes will be. And also those are the areas where you're going to be extruding uh, your edges inwards, you know, to create the, the space inside. So, you know, you, you generally do that last anyway. So I just like to delete the face and just get rid of it. Here I'm just cutting in the mouth, and yeah, if you look at it, I mean it's not uh, very accurate, you know, to to the reference, but it's okay because this is this is just laying in the foundations. So now I'm working around the face, you know, starting to make it uh, look a little more like human. So this is almost getting there and I'm just going to let this run and it's going to be a uh, recap coming up real, real soon. So here is the model. Uh, I cleaned it up a little bit more, and it took about you know 15 minutes to get to this point. And obviously, it looks uh, still looks pretty bad. But the important thing that you know we want to get to is, you know, we have this these lines here, and uh, you know, identifying the major edges and, and the flow, and we have it here. So that's the important thing. And now it's just a matter of um, you know going in there and and cutting in more geometries and you know refining some of the areas and just you know so that we can fit it to this form a little bit better okay so i took another stab at it and correcting some of the features and this is what i've have so far um, added some details let's fix the proportions so it's, it's kind of starting to look like arno a little bit um, you know the major lines are there again so i mean at this point it's a decent low model obviously there's you know areas that would need to be fixed 
if this were like a game model or, or anything like that. Um, but this would serve as a, as a good foundation for you know, the next level when we actually put in more, uh, start cutting in more detail. So that's it for this demonstration of the uh, low poly modeling on Arnold's face. Uh, please check out my blog at 3dmodelinghero.com and I hope to have more updates for you soon. I'll see you next time.